This is a typical fat loss meal. And today I'm gonna to show you what your plate should look like section by section if your goal is fat loss. When it comes to building a fat loss meal, there are three main things that you should focus on. Calories, protein, and volume. Calories matter because we must be consuming fewer calories than we burn in a day to lose body fat. Protein matters because we really need to be sure that we are preserving our lean muscle mass while we are focusing on shredding body fat. The goal is fat loss, not weight loss. And volume matters because we want to be sure that we are not feeling hungry throughout the day. And the way that you make sure that you're not feeling hungry is by consuming lots of micronutrient rich fruits and vegetables. All right, so up first we have our main protein source. I always love starting my meals by building them around a protein source. I've got some air fried tofu here. You can use lentils, tofu, tempeh, whatever you want. Um, and I generally make that about a quarter to a third of my plate. This is three quarters of a block of tofu and it contains about 45 grams of protein. All right, so now we got our protein source on the plate. And the reason that I focus on protein when it comes to fat loss is the main thing that you wanna be sure of is while you are losing body fat, you don't wanna be losing lean muscle mass. So lots of people approach weight loss with the goal of just reducing calories, and that does result in weight loss. But if you are only focusing on weight loss and not specifically fat loss, you might lose lean muscle along the way and you're not gonna be happy with the result. So lots of people ask me how much protein should I be getting in a meal? And the answer is it depends on a bunch of different factors, how much you train, what your body composition is, and a few other factors as well. But generally for me, I aim for about 35 grams of protein per meal at least. And the reason is based on some research out of McMaster University. In 2015, researchers found that 0.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per meal is ideal to stimulate muscle protein synthesis, which is the process of maintaining or building lean muscle. So based on this research and my body weight, I should aim to consume about 35 grams of protein per meal. However, your body can store amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, for later use. So if you eat a little bit more than this in a meal, that's perfectly fine. The thing that matters most is that you're consuming enough total protein in the day. So all plants have protein, but if you start building your meals around a protein source like quinoa, which is actually a carb source in my opinion, that's gonna make it really difficult for you to hit your total protein intake for the day without going over your calories, which is really important to be under if you are focusing on fat loss. So just make sure that you choose protein sources that have higher amounts of protein, like tofu, tempeh, seitan, and lentils. That's gonna set you up for success. So the next thing that I focus on when I'm building a fat loss meal is volume. So we just added a bunch of veggies. We have snow peas, we have some red bell peppers, and we also have some broccoli. And all of that that we just added is 200 calories. So it has a lot of volume for few calories, and it's also packed with a bunch of nutrition. So again, the reason that we focus on volume eating, especially when it comes to fat loss, is because volume is really filling. And we don't wanna feel hungry while we are focusing on fat loss. When I'm focusing on fat loss, I tend to get really hungry. So so if you also get the same way, then I recommend that you mostly stick with adding a bunch of veggies to your meals. So actually three quarters of this meal is gonna be veggies, and I've got a quarter of my meal as far as the plate goes, that's protein from the tofu. So this is generally what a meal for fat loss would look like for me, and the only thing that I would add from this point is some dressing over top to give it some extra flavor. Realistically, this meal does look a little boring, I understand, and sometimes that is how your meals are going to look, especially if you're focusing on fat loss and you don't have too many calories to work with, but there's lots of ways that you can still add flavor to your meals. So to flavor the tofu, I used the Steakhouse Peppercorn Marinade. It's absolutely delicious, and I put this on the tofu right before I put it into the air fryer. So I put two tablespoons of this marinade, which is 20 calories, on the tofu. To add some flavor to the snow peas and the broccoli, I steamed them in liquid aminos. I used one tablespoon in that, which is 15 calories. 
So last thing that I'm gonna add to bring flavor to this meal is adding some of this Bragg's oil-free vinaigrette. This is absolutely delicious and it's oil-free, so it has much fewer calories than regular dressings. In fact, this has 15 calories for two tablespoons, so I'm going to add three tablespoons to this meal. So this is how my entire fat loss meal would look. I love meals that have tons of volume with few calories and also lots of protein. That's what helps me feel satiated when I'm focusing on fat loss. But if you want to incorporate some higher carb sources like rice or potatoes, you're very welcome to do that. Those are very healthy foods, but it is going to change the way that your plate looks. So in this case, to make the calories the same, we're going to have to take off some of the veggies. So now we've removed most of the veggies and the dressing to make room for some rice. So it looks absolutely delicious, but we have taken out a lot of the volume. And for me, I would probably feel hungry after eating this meal. That's why I like eating lots of low calorie veggies and not spending my calories on higher calorie foods like rice. To really show you the impact of caloric density, let's take this example one step further and replace the broccoli with avocado. So as you can see, when you give up that broccoli, you really don't get that much avocado in its place. And this really demonstrates the impact of caloric density when it comes to building your meals. So again, this is my fat loss meal. I love adding tons of veggies to add tons of volume. And then we took out most of the veggies to add some rice. And then we took out the rest of the veggies to add some avocado. So as you can see, the impact of caloric density is really profound when it comes to building a fat loss meal. That's definitely something that you wanna consider. So in conclusion, there are three main things you wanna focus on, calories, protein, and volume, and volume really comes down to caloric density. So the more fruits and veggies you eat, the easier it's gonna to be to feel full while also accomplishing your fat loss goals. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this to be valuable. Please let us know in the comments if there are other kind of meal breakdowns that you would like to see on this channel. So thanks so much, and we'll catch you in the next video.